<laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Josh Dean, and this is Josh Dean, Lord of Adventure, where I play through an adventure game. Uh, in this case, I will be playing through for the next probably rest of my life, Uncharted 4, uh, Thieves End, and uh, I, can only, I can only play it one hour at a time every week at this time. And uh, you uh, watch me do it. I do weird things and talk to you. And, um, and we have fun. Uh, uh, I'd like to introduce um, my, my front-hand man, uh, Wes. Hey, Wes. Hi. Oh, he's just so teeny. Um, now, one fun thing about this is that uh, we recently discovered Josh <coughs> Dean's Bowl of Adventure, which is a bowl full of random suggestions that Todd Farmer put in. Uh, I do not know what's on the bowl, but essentially they will affect the way that I play the game, whether it be in a character or in a funny voice or blindfolded or with my feet or things like that. EVGB knows what's in the bowl. EVGB knows apparently what's in the bowl because EVGB uh, became a subscriber on Game Wisp. And then, and so she got to actually put in a suggestion in that bowl. Whether it gets picked tonight, we don't know. So um, to draw from the bowl of adventure, it's a, I think it's a five dollars. What was we were, when people were tipping five dollars? Yeah, it's basically um, you get five dollars the minimum. Great. I think. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to tip. You can tip a dollar. You can tip fifty yeah, cents. You, yeah, exactly. But it's only, but we don't we only do the draws at five dollars, and it, you get uh, a minute of this goofiness. Right. But also, let's face it, uh, you know, we're all just here to have a really nice time. And, uh, oh, Dr. Charlize, how you doing? Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're having a, uh, we're just here to have fun and just goof around. Um, uh, in the game, I'm on uh, episode, or chapter eight. I'm doing very light cosplay, basically, because that was another suggestion that someone gave. I don't know if it was Evie or who. Uh, let's see if I got close, because I couldn't really remember what I was wearing. Okay, I've essentially inverted colors and oh, been really? totally wrong. Let's face it, I have been, one yeah. of the challenges was to drink here. bourbon last week, abandoned. and I did that, so I don't really remember how it It affected ended. your memory. It did. Um, uh, now, uh, in terms of the actual story and gameplay, I'm not clear on what's happening, because I'm talking all the time instead of reading what is happening. I couldn't deal with um, it. I'm pretty sure he'd had enough of me. So um, my brother, who, uh, death, uh, when we were in an orphanage as youngsters, he would take care well, of me. I'm pretty sure he's he ready there. to kill me by uh, the time Anyway, we went into prison uh, under the guise of getting onto the prison grounds so as to find a special treasure, uh, which I did find. Um, but then everything went screwy. My brother died. Uh, I uh, went on to be the adventurer I am and to marry a lady and then and be a salvager. And it was sad and boring, but I was happy. And I got to play Crash Bandicoot on occasion. And then that's what matters. That is, let's face it, that that's winning. Uh, okay, I guess we're just gonna keep going this way. I was following him. I think he was meant to be following me. <laughs> uh, so anyway, then the brother came back. Turns out he wasn't dead. Big surprise. No, nope, that's not a path. What kind of adventurer can't just gently walk through that brush? That's what I want to know. All right, I'm gonna go down this path. <laughs> See, this is mostly it's me wandering in circles asking. Uh, you guys in the chat, what in still crap's the name is happening? A boy a I don't like the slidey parts. They make me nervous because I can't steer so good. Um, what else is new, guys? I don't know. Uh, so I'm on chapter eight. The last thing that we did was a, a heist that took me a lot longer than it ought to have. And uh, it's because children kept interfering. That's right. Because on occasion, when people uh, tip and I draw a thing out of the thing, it winds up. It winds up it's being a um, drop. Uh, an insane yeah. character that makes it. We need to find another way down. Oh, I'm never gonna make it! I made it! What was that boom? Uh, that was probably an earthquake or me having an idea. <laughs> that's how. That's how it sounds. Oh, okay. Hey, this should hold. Yeah, it should hold. Good call. It's rope and a rock. Oh, or, although, why did you choose a stick? That. Oh, right. Hold on. See, also this. I'm glad that they do these recommendations because I always forget what the controls are. And I just circle around. Um, EBGB's asking about Todd. Oh, what's Todd's? Situation? Todd, what's the shirt of the day? Yeah, that's always good to know. She says that she sure. has a pink shirt with a koala wearing big black oh. glasses, and it says, Nerd is I the they word. Were just by the cathedral. Nerd, nerd, nerd. The nerd oh, oh, okay. I'm shooting guys. This is one thing Josh is about. Uh, oh. You got those headshots down. 
for the most part. Well, yeah, because I, I just don't do any other shots. Oh, that was a good one, though. Yeah, y'all. All right. Now that I'm okay. living large, I'm going to go get me some ammo. Yeah. Maybe a machine nice guy guy left. Seems like they were expecting us. They did and seem like, like they're that. searching Especially away from the cathedral. Oh, a deer. We should get to that graveyard pronto. I'm not going to shoot yeah. it, guys. But I am going to try to get it with my grappling hook. Yeah, get it. No, it wouldn't let me. Why Get over here, the deer. Search beyond the cathedral. That's a nice little oh, detail. We did. I'm glad well, I didn't shoot it, though. This guys, place is so would you big. have shot it? That's no one where to look. Know. Like shooting in the, the dark. Right thing. <laughs> My moral <laughs> compass is different now that I have a, a dog who I like, and uh, then that makes it so that I can't even bear the so you think we'll just find a I've got bad news. There's winking going it. on in the uh, chat. Oh, no. Oh, I don't no. know if you guys remember, but uh, EVGB has stored bowl, uh, bowl of adventure uh, pulls. Oh, I, I like remember. remember so. I, I have gentle nightmares about it. Gentle? gentle? Yeah, I wake up not in a cold sweat, but in kind of a warm glow. That doesn't sound bad. It's, <laughs> except for it's not where you want to be glowing. Oh. I'm a, I'm a warm sleeper. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm going to peek around here. Based on the amount of cover uh, available, I'm just going to wager Monk's had to several shoot up pretty soon. Main one Video game logic with Josh Dean, Lord of Adventure. Location, location, location. Yeah, this is all going to be a shoreline slowly, equipment. You know, uh, at least no shorelineers. Digging and jumping and jumping and digging. How is there not treasure in this game? Someone named uh, we'll Frida Wolf blow themselves lurking, up. Hey. lurking in the chat. Yeah, Frida. It's nice to see you. We see you. We see you, Frida. I see you watching me. Now you can uh, just minimize this window and go about your business. Uh, so, Josh Dean, Lord of Adventure, uh, continuing to fail at this game and just do more exploring than actual problem solving or uh, murderizing. Yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know. If I was me, I wouldn't be doing this. I'm a talented, oh God, someone tell me where to go. So, uh, just a, a quick note. Yeah. Um, tonight will be a tiny bit oh, important. Yeah. shorter than normal. Now I broke that nice got, lamp. Yeah, way to go. That was the only treasure I was actually going to get to take home with this me. This is why we can't have nice things. This is one of the reasons. The other is because we can't afford them. And the one beyond that is because there's that raccoon that keeps stealing shiny things. That's what raccoons do that, right? Yep. No, yeah. No, magpies do. No, running raccoons do too. Did you guys hear that story about that magpie? Where the red friend grows? What? Did you hear that story about that magpie? It sounds like no, it's not but, the start of a but, joke because it isn't. But this this little girl was feeding magpies uh, in, in her yard, and then they uh, she would always go out there and feed them stuff they liked, like grapes and things, which is apparently a thing that they like. And then they started bringing her like shiny baubles they'd find just around. Mm -hmm. So like bottle caps and things, which is, aren't worth what you'd think, um, unless you thought nothing, in which case you are correct, sir. What were you going to say? They brought her a glass eye plucked from a, hu a live human being. <laughs> it's hard to tell, other than if it's still warm, uh, if there's still warm, if it was plucked from a live human being or not. Or if you see it happen. Or if you see it happen, but hopefully it wouldn't. So, real quick. Yeah. So, uh, All right, I interrupt. A little bit shorter. Uh, not again. a ton, just a little bit. Uh, maybe we can convince uh, Josh to do maybe a slightly longer episode some other time. Um, oh. But we've got what really, really important things we're going to do. So um, because it's a little shorter and somebody's got a bunch of things banked up, maybe we should do... Punch this door should we do it? Should we do a draw? What the crap is happening on there? Oh, man, just a bunch of nothing. Nobody's helping. Are we doing a draw? Okay, guys, I'm, I can't do anything. Oh, sorry, brother. Can you... <laughs> I'm just gonna take off my really? this because I, my my crotch just shot at my brother. I can't take the credit for that. Oh, it did it again! <laughs> wow, I am enjoying the show too much. He's not firing blanks. Drawing, uh, well, I can't be sure. Oh, look, hey, there. Oh, look at this. The, the headless assistant. Okay. <clears throat> Cassie's babysitter Agnes. All right. So there was a character. Hey, agitator. Ac Ac Academia. Academia. Um, nice. There was a character that we created this? some time back named Cassie Von Fumpf. Von Fumpf? Von Fumpf, who was a small girl. This? Uh, this is evidently, it's now time to meet bet? her. Uh, oh, her, is that what you got drawn? Her babysitter, oh, Agnes. Dynamite. Cassie's babysitter, Agnes. Yeah, Anybody have any thoughts on what Agnes might sound like? Well, my first thought was Mrs. Doubtfire, but that's basically Cassie's cousin, Cassie. Uh, 
Cassie has a cousin named Cassie who sounds like, yeah. Hey, I got the door open. Um, How that's is... right. So, what, uh, any Very thoughts? Loud. Hey, uh, Frida Wolf. Frida Wolf. Right. I don't know if it's Frida Wolf or Frida Wolf. It's Frida Wolf. I know this the roof. for science. How, how do you know this? None of your damn business. Okay. I think you're so smart with your yeah. questions. I'm turning down their uh, dialogue because who needs to listen to them? Me. Just a little bit. I need answers. Am I supposed to chuck another? Oh, guys. Uh, Dr. Charlize says she sounds like a Jamaican reggae singer. I don't think we want to do that now, do we? <laughs> That's just going to get very, very insulting. Why don't we do um, uh, some... Um, Oh, maybe she's, maybe, 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 nope. What's her name? Agnes. Agnes. Her name's Agnes. That's not German, right? Uh, I would think that Agnes is German. Perhaps Agnes is a strict mistress who will cause trouble if you uh, push her too far. I like this. You don't want to push Agnes. She has many difficulty with dealing with the children and the things that they feel in this, the North America, that they have so many rights, that they have rights not here. What, not. Kind, of, what kind of rights bother you, Agnes? That children are allowed to choose their foods, uh, to uh, eat, hey, what, what about and their on? times of foods. I do not enjoy this. I don't like that children are allowed to have an education, which hey, I don't think is use this to climb proper, because children shouldn't have ideas other than the ones I put in there. In the hits. Wait, so, wait, what kind of food are children supposed to eat? What kind of, well, they should have cool und. They should have, um, on, on the birthday, they should be allowed one handful of hard candy swallowed whole. Like the whole handful at once? Yes, and also no chewing or sucking, because that is bad for the teeth. Everyone knows this. Hey, what in the world am I doing up here? <laughs> It certainly seems intent on me climbing in this region, Maybe. but I can't tell you what the... I always do this. I always forget to set the timer. You son of a bitch! You have one job! Uh, I'll set it for four minutes. I will <laughs> get the switch. That's right, the switch! I have a switch that I have was passed down in my family from many years ago. This switch was carved from a hickory tree, which we felled. I fell with... I felled it. It's my great grandpa. Wait, you, wait. Using a walrus tusk. With your great grandfather? Yes. Oh, okay. It, he was ancient at the time, and it was the last thing he did before dying. Oh, I'm. Uh, guys, they really wanted me to climb up here. I don't even know why. <laughs> I'm so alone. Why will no one tell me what happens in the actual game? Instead, I just circle and circle. So, how many, how many children have you cared for? Uh, I, uh, that survived? <laughs> yes, that survived. Well, I mean, I, maybe we should stick to the survived one. I've got, uh, I've, I've got, I've had three that made it, but they were strong and brave as a result. Why did the others not make it? Oh, well, uh, it's very difficult often for, uh, uh, that's, isn't that a great, I, son of a bitch, I don't know where to go. Um, uh, well, um, it's difficult to, to keep breathing when you've got a throat, a gullet full of hot candy on your birthday. Most of them died tragically on the birthday. Oh, what a shame it so, was. So the good ones, like, are a little more pelican-like and... Yeah, basically, they, you just want them to have a, a, just a nice floppy sack where they can store it like, uh, like, what do they call it in a bird when they have that thing they put um, stones in there, a gizzard? Yeah, the children that have made it were mostly um, gizzard children. Gizzard children, children of the gizzard uh, Good lifestyle, Good to know. which I am supportive of, despite my traditionally conservative leanings. So, do you have any children of your own? Oh yes, I've got many. And, and do they, and they, they all are survived? just ones that I kept. Oh okay. Uh, uh, from various jobs I had, so you know sometimes. Oh, there I am. I've got an idea. Up this away, and then get me some of these. Uh, no, that's not what I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just kick those boxes just for the sake of it. Uh, so I feel like I'm really accomplishing something. Anywho. <laughs> old Agnes. Too old to know what the crap's happening. So I've got many children uh, um, that I have kept from various jobs when I felt that their parents were unfit. 
to raise them. Do you know what qualifies a parent as unfit? No. They have asked me to raise their child. <laughs> <laughs> this is an indication that they are, should not be in charge. Not, not about rearing children, no thanks. Is there another thing of grenades down there or what? Uh, I bet there is. Yeah, I just had to go down here all along. Hey, thanks for nothing, you guys. Look, dynamites. This is dynamite. So if children eat gruel and hard candy, what do you eat? What do I eat? Yeah. Well, my favorite uh, is a nice custard. Take that, door. Uh, a, Pretty good um, with that stuff. A, oh, but you, also, I like a rum o baba, uh, which is a French pastry treat uh, with cake that's served with a nice whip with the cream. Uh, and I also like uh, to eat, well, I often will have to eat um, uh, various uh, ibuprofens. <laughs> Various ibuprofen, like yeah. different kinds of ibuprofen. Various strengths based uh, on okay. my mood and the what have you. Why, hey, brother, thanks for a fat load of no help. You, look at this lazy laying in. Ah, see, told you, mercenary. What the hell? You think you're so great? I'll shoot you right square in the old brains. Whammo. Oh, it's done. Oh, hi right, guys, it's just me, Josh, the won't stop talking Dean. I know what you're thinking. Quit talking, Josh. Nuh-uh, not on my watch. Or on Wes's, apparently. Yeah, because I won't set the timer. Yeah, you're the timer bastard. No, no. Oh, there we go. Wow, that was, that's a pretty good reflex. Well, that's, this is not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, <laughs> guys have died. Everyone, let's uh, have a brief Ceremony for that Nathan Drake. Know that you were unable to, at most times, determine where it is you should go. You were still willing, at all accounts, to uh, walk in circles, attempt repeated climbings of walls, and of course, you all, oh, oh, that guy going to see me. <laughs> anyway, rest in peace, Don Nathan. Let's hope that the new guy can really get some killing on. All uh, right. So we're I'm gonna, marking these things. I don't know why. We're going to have to probably, like, boost up these uh, these draws. How do you mean? Well, I mean, I'm just thinking we're going to have to end early, right? Right. And we're already 20 minutes in. What do you want from me? I mean, it's not what I want from you. It's what, what the viewers want from you. They can have whatever they want. Uh, okay. Um, okay. So, uh, just to re review for the people who uh, may have just joined or didn't didn't listen the first time, because who would? Um, if you, uh, if uh, I, you know, we're just doing this for free and fun. If you uh, if you feel so inclined as to as to uh, tip anything, we will take draw from the uh, bowl of adventure, which is a bunch of random ideas and suggestions. Um, one suggestion I'd like to pull is not die every second. Paul 2D2 is in the room and he says, boost up your draws. Boost up my draws? What does boost up my draws mean? I mean, Does I that mean pull up your underwear? I think... Are you, boost up them draws. We, the viewers can't see your bottom half. Well, then they don't know what's happening, do they? Yeah, yep, yeah, he says pull up your pants. Okay, well, I can do that, but uh, I don't think I'm going to get any uh, additional um, tips that way. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. And you're not going to get to see the, the tip of a lifetime. What? What? Um, Am I just waiting for these guys to come over here? So, I... so Evie, yeah. Evie has thrown something out, a suggestion out. The question is, Evie, do you want that as one of your picks or... Like, so Evie we subscribed on, on GameWisp yeah. uh, .com. Uh, I think that uh, Wes is going to chuck up a... Uh... Hmm? Oh, there we go. Oh, there, yeah. eh? Hello? Huh? oh, man, I'm doing a great job now. I, did, well, I don't know why it didn't occur to me to just not... Hang be, out in the grass? ...not get shot every second. Just hang out in the grass. Oh. Oh, oh I was doing so good. And then I just, I, I just kicked that guy in the wiener to death. That's, nice. And that's 
one of the worst ways to go. I'll tell you that for free. She says she's flexible, so. Um, Don't mind knowing that info. I'm not a machine gun type of fellow. Okay. So uh, there's a, a request for either um, like a genie type voice from Aladdin or Jafar. Uh, Jafar. Uh, why? Right. I think I could do Jafar. I don't really remember, but I will try my best. Um, because I can't do that. Uh, am I Jafar? Or am I? Oh, Ugh, it's really hard. Though. I'm getting killed. No, I hate it. I hate it. That is why I always do the killing. It's my specialty. The best way to kill someone is while well making eye contact with them. And the better way is while well making eye contact with their family. Mm -hmm. Did you hear something above you? I thought I did. Perhaps it was the great devil himself coming to find me and shake my hand. I've got a retirement a prize coming soon from the devil. Uh, as soon as I'm finished, uh, I have to kill a certain number of people. <laughs> dying. I'm dying. Oh, dying. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. This isn't my best round. So, watching all this death, what, what if you had three wishes, what would they be? Ah, yeah. If I had the three wishes, what would they be? First wish, one extra wish. Second wish, two less wishes, because I'm not a greedy man. Mm. Third oh, wish, five wishes. My fourth wish would be for the first two wishes to be restored to their original unwished potential. And then, what? Some ladies in bikinis who don't mind massages and naked rubber round times. Also, <laughs> I wouldn't mind a nice, like a cool car, like a nice, like a, a like a Porsche Corolla or a Acura Integra. <laughs> Furthermore, the most evil wish of all would be uh, a fur coat. Because that's wrong. That's just wrong. What kind of fur? Um, um, baby possum. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've ever met a possum, but they're almost entirely assholes. Total assholes. Uh, um, guys, I'm gonna focus on murdering these people. Perhaps my problem was that I wasn't imagining that each and every one of them was an orphan baby, for that is what I kill best. Do you know a babysitter named Agnes? I am very well familiar with her. Oh, I purchased well. much of my human fodder from her, for I hunt the most dangerous game, babies. Babies. Dead Zone 3607 is not following. What's well, up, Dead Zone? Hello, Dead Zone. Thank you for joining the deadest zone of all. <laughs> Some... Here's the thing, I could really use a throat lozenge in the future. Just a, some, a, some sort of a, like a fisherman's friend, if you're familiar with those. That a nice mentholated something. No, not too sweet. Because an evil voice is difficult when it's maintained. I prefer like a honey lemon oh, yes. type of a lozenge. Nice, nice, I prefer a natural lozenge. <laughs> Something with, what's that thing that Ricola has? Riboflavin. Riboflavin? Yes, my favorite I don't think that's right. lozenge ingredients is, include riboflavin and uh, xanthan gum and uh, fruity flavors. I don't think you're thinking of lozenges. Gummy uh, bears? Candy? I don't know. Maybe? Ah, uh, yes. That's my bad. What's your favorite uh, gummy bear? Color, of all flavor. of the flavors that I, the most evil of all people, enjoy, it's got to be a uh, uh, tear. 
That's a grenade. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Famous last words. Oh, but and yet it was the bullet in the arm that did me in. Curse their poison bullets, shot with what I can only imagine are particularly extra velocipeded bullets. That's a good word. Thank you. Is that, a, is that a real made word? Up. Well, yeah. velocipede is a thing, but I certainly didn't use it correctly. Why? Because I'm evil. I have no respect for the previous dictums of that's the end of that voice. <clears throat> Hey, is anybody talking in the room? Oh yeah, they're talking. But I, I, some, some questions get directed to Josh Lord of Adventure, and uh, you were not Josh Lord of Adventure a minute ago. There was someone else in here playing the game. So, uh, very fair um, point. So I couldn't really uh, bring these things up. No lag till Brooklyn says you need xylomelts. Ooh, is that the right thing? Why is that, why is a xylomelt so good? Um, let's see, Frida Wolf. Josh, I still think you're incognito, Sam Elliott. <laughs> Sounds like an inside joke. Extremely incognito. Um, In EVGV wants to know, have you been practicing walk-in? No, I have not been practicing walk-in. I will never do a walk-in. That is my specialty. <laughs> that is my promise to you. Yes, as a lord of adventure, you will never hear a walk-in. Oh. What is there? It, what? Oh, you're holding that gun. <laughs> Fun and profit. So wait, for profit. So, is there a? This is gonna end badly again. Oh, just this is not going list. well. I'll be fine. Just climb on top of that wall. That's I just great. wanted to get out in the open so they could shoot me easier, and I could just have a nice lay down. So what? Uh, what celebrity do you not do a voice for that you will commit to learning? Uh, or or cartoon character if you want. Oh uh, God, guys, I just I don't. I'm not a mimic. What I am is a fake. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would say, I would do, I don't know, what are ones that everyone does? Michael Caine, I could probably figure out Michael Caine. All right, that's it, done. Michael Caine, he's gotta learn Michael Caine. That's, a, that's gonna be a long episode. I decided that for you. Thank you for that, Wes. Yep, uh, well, I mean, you don't have to do it during the episode, you have to learn it on your off time. Oh yeah, I'm well aware of that, but then people are gonna have to listen to me flailing about in a, in a poor Michael Caine. Only for five minutes, and maybe they won't ever ask you to do walk-in ever again if they hear that. That's true. I'm going to teach them a lesson. Stop having wants. That's what I did, and look at me now. Very flushed. Gosh, do you guys think I have a fever? I'm stuck. Oh, I'm certainly starting to hallucinate. <laughs> Not for the reason you think. Did that guy just pass, pass right by me? This is some really good ground cover. Come on down. That's right, just hop on down here. No Ooh. big deal. Evie Jeevy's pulling out the big guns. What did she say? She's like, well, why? maybe you should just sing songs then. <laughs> she knows better. <laughs> <laughs> that was last week. And I don't think it's in the bowl anymore. You never know. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'll do better. This, the next time I have to do songs, I'll do better. That one, I was pretty pooped out. I'm not going to lie. But I still tried my best because I'm a hero. Like Robert De Niro. Uh, is there a way to carry bodies in this game? Anybody? Mm. Well, I'm, who am I asking? Me? I know I don't know the answer. Over there. All right, you want me to look that up? I'll have you know that this is certainly the longest turn I've had so far without dying. Mm. So that's a victory. And I think it's yeah. important to count your victories before they hatch. Carry bodies. Uncharted. I'm just stealth murdering like crazy. I'm a real stealth murderer. That's the best way. Um, how many, in the chat room, how many of you have uh, murdered someone? Let's just talk about it. I don't see, I don't see anything about carrying bodies. Okay. Well, something then about I'm just taking a, take your word for it. Something about taking a <laughs> selfie with a, a dead body. Is that an option? I don't know. Wait. There we go. I think I did it. Did the music change? Nope. No, he's really. still sneaking around. <laughs> oh wait, he's he's walking nonchalant. Oh yes, guys, I did it. Hey, do we have any sort of a celebration song we get to play when I don't blow it for once in my freak whole life? <laughs> oh guys, thank you for your patience with that Tom crappery. Somebody just lunged up next to me for a moment. That was weird. Lucky. You know, this would have been easy to just pull the other direction. I don't know why I had to go this route. 
Um, I think we're only going to have like... We only have a few minutes to go? 10 to 15 minutes, maybe, max. Uh, all right. Please stop calling me Max. There. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> hey, I made it up here. I always wanted to be up. Oh, it's just like all you, the other what? towers. Did you knock that light down too? Yes, I did. I have no respect for lights. Can or... you kick it while it's down? I'm going to do my best. Like, can you kick it off the edge maybe? Like, like run into it or something. I'm going to. I mean, just sort of just shoot it, I guess. Oh, yeah, you can totally kick that off the edge. Well, yeah, it's going to take me the rest of my life. Come on, you can do it. Nope, I quit. I quit everything forever and ever. <laughs> uh, it's disappointing. You know, I had this the whole time. Oh, I just threw a grenade instead of my grappling hook. I'm pretty sure one of the times that you died, you kicked a grenade as you were like, you tried to do a roll. That and sounds you, like me. They threw a grenade and it was going to go past you and you kicked it the direction you were rolling and you blew up. Man, I'm pretty just, sure I saw that. You know, honestly, so much of it is a blur, and almost all of it is a nightmare. I can't, I can't tell you what the crap is happening. I'm glad for a replay to know, because that's how I learn. I don't get to watch game tape. All right, you think you can do that? I doubt it. You've been in prison, in a, in a teeny Hispanic prison of some kind. I just say that because I don't know the specifics. All right, now let's go for another swing. These guys are real. Wait for it. Wait for it. Climbers. <laughs> See what I did there? Not much. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this show, by the way. Uh, those that of you joke, who are... You better think. Who are what? what? What was that, Wes? Nothing. What? You know that there's a line of people waiting, people to, be your psychic. waiting to be my psychic. <laughs> I'm sorry. That line is almost one deep. I'm sorry. Almost. I humble myself before you, Lord of Adventure. Ah, that's too much. But only barely. <laughs> oh, guys. What a treat. Um, use it to pull a ball. Oh, I wish. Why is he pushing that box all over? Oh, because it's got um, a bunch of chicks in it. Uh, um, like baby chicks? Little baby chicks. And I, Come here. Uh, I'll pull oh, you up. Okay, I'll go over there now. Why over there? Just pull me a bra. You bunch of Looney Tunes. Um, see, this is the sort of thing I wanted to be blindfolded for, because like where it's climbing, and then you would have to guide me based on what they say. But I don't know. That would probably just wind up being a nightmare. There's a delay, I guess. We've watched you die enough this this episode. Oh no, there's plenty more. All right, there it is. Okay, there it is. The monks dorm. The monks, dorm the monks stay in dorms. Uh, I thought they just us. stayed in monsters. I mean, what's the definition of a dorm? A dormitory is a, a, a I guess, a, yeah, just a building you sleep in. Yeah, definition. Dormitory. That's not what it is. Uh, all right. Whammo. I'm a real jump climber. Um, uh, one fun thing that I've learned in playing this game. Uh, oh, shit. There's mercenaries. It's cold. And I've accidentally pushed the pull out the dynamite button. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm okay, guys. A dormitory is a building containing a number of private or semi private rooms for residents. Is he peeing? Oh, now I got pee all over me. Try not to kill a guy while he's actually in the act of peeing. Rookie moves. Alright, let's get him. Dr. Charlie's wants to know if you've ever stayed at a hostel. Ah! I have. It was a nightmare to me. Because I don't want to sleep in a room with strangers. I barely want to sleep in a room with people I know. Where was the hostel at? It was in Holland. That's also not necessarily where Holland you want to hostel. be in a hostel. You learn a lot there, but not things you want to know. <laughs> things you shouldn't know. Things you daren't know. Daren't to know. You two done creeping the site? None of your business. Uh, all right, I'm going to sneak around over there, guys. Wish me luck. Uh, I don't know if you've noted this to this point, but still, this isn't my strong suit. It's because I have allergies, and the tall grass isn't very good for me. Dr. Charlie's wants to know if you went to the red light district. I, I wandered through it. I didn't do anything fun in there. Because, ooh, uh. <laughs> Have you seen some of those people? It's alarming. At best. All right. EVGV right. <laughs> Holland, Michigan, or Amsterdam? <laughs> I went to the red light district in Holland, Michigan, and uh, <laughs> boy, is my hand tired. 
Don't know what that means. Doesn't mean anything. Just sounded like a joke. That's how I do it. Oh, that guy's probably gonna see that. Watch out for those friends. Oh. Oh, there's a lot more bad guys than I was hoping. I was hoping for um, up to zero bad guys. Jermaine grew up in uh, Holland, Michigan, she says. Oh, is that is that for real? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Evie says, we have fudge and tulips in Michigan. Fudge and tulips. You fudge and tulips. Oh, whoa. I don't know what I said, but I, I probably didn't mean it. That's a grenade. This time I got away from it. I'm learning. How many bad guys? What is the Craigslist ad that these guys are responding to? That they're he's, they're gonna have just this unending list of guys who are willing to murder on the spot. Well, that's a good question, Josh. Thanks. Could you please tell us what that Craigslist, Craigslist ad looks like? Uh, uh, yes, I can. It is. It's. Oh, am I allowed to throw that back yet? How come that doesn't work in this game? Um. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, seeking. Uh, it's um seeking. Uh, how does how does the Craigslist actually go? I've never done one. I guess it's like um, L.A. area. Wanted. Wanted. Um, uh, look, uh, seeking uh, um, go-getters with pretty good aim. Uh, um, not great hiders. Wanted. En uh, high entry-level pay. Um, uh, opportunities include shooting guns, wearing matching clothes with your friends. Uh, uh, um, uh, Running in circles a lot when alarmed, and peeing in bushes. Uh, exercise, fresh air. Is this the right opportunity for you? If so, and also you're willing to die for a cause that nobody understands yet, then come on down. We're ha at to the job fair. Uh, um, we are willing to all take all comers come on, let's get a move and on. come all takers. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, what? Todd, did you see that comment by Everbrad? I think it's a great idea. You can't know. Hush you. Why don't I get to know? Why? Shouldn't I know? Next week. <laughs> Where are we going to get that? I don't know. I don't either. What are we talking about? Butcher. Why do you guys get to talk about stuff? You oh, know what? Oh, I see what you're saying. And no. <laughs> Tell me not to wear nice clothes next week. Yeah. Uh, can you wear your tux again next week? I have a great idea. <laughs> Whatever you're talking about is terrifying, so let's not do it. Have you seen Carrie? Uh, um, which? Uh, you know, I, I prefer the, um, the, the sissy, what? Finale. The finale? The finale of it. Uh, oh, I, sure. I, I'm familiar with it. I, I thought he was asking which, which Carrie, because there was like four different ones. Um, I mean, if we're talking about the one sang by, sung by Joni Mitchell, then yes. I have, and I love it. Uh, uh, Carrie. Get we should do. Heels. We should do one That's more right. bowl draw before we end. I think. All right, we're gonna do a finale bowl draw. Nobody tipped me today, but I probably had that coming. Let's face it. And we have, and we did have these leftovers from uh, EVGV, and she, I think she'll still have two more after this. Two. What do we got? Two more after She's this. Three, right? She this is her third. Cassie's Whoa. brother Philippe. Fourth. Okay, so. Uh, uh, um, oh, hi, Philippe. <laughs> well, hello. I don't. I think this was pretty much There it. was like, uh, definitely like a little pout thing going on. Was there like, was there like, there yeah. was a little pout. Was there was just a little bit like this. Yeah, that's who it was. Hi, it's <laughs> Philippe. My brother, my, I'm the brother of Cassie, who you maybe probably don't know because you guys were here before. But Cassie's really nice. Um, she's my sister. Um, I have many. Um, I also have some brothers. Um, sometimes they, um, hit me. But I most of the time I have a common because I got a smart mouth. So we talked to Cassie last week after we spoke to you. What did she say? She lie. did not have nice things to say about you, to be honest. Well, I have quite a bit. She's fine. Uh, but do you know always my best to be her best friend lately? Because I know that I won't be on the Easter Bunny post if I don't. So, um, did you shiv someone? Okay, listen. It's a long story. But look, I was just trying to protect her and also the honor of my family. And so what I had no choice but to do was a, um, just a very, first of all, he survived. 
So I don't know if that's official shivvy or not. It was certainly a, a, a real life stabbing, I'll tell you that for sure. But, and, 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 um, but yeah, so I was just protecting my sister. So you know what I did? I just built myself a shiv. And then I just went and I just got it right between the second and the third ribs. Oh, I got my crotch activated by the uh, so you have you have a lot of siblings, Philippe. I do. I have quite a large family, and it's always growing. They're all born, as my mom likes to say, nine months and four minutes apart. Okay. I don't understand it, but I'll tell you, it doesn't make me feel good. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't make me feel good either. None of us are special. We're just like a big old nest, like a brood. We're like a little brood. But we're just a, a like we only have one bunk bed, and my parents get the top, and then the rest of us, we all just we all just tuck in, and it's just like a this is a steaming pile of writhing, stink kids. We also don't have a bath in our home, and so we have to go to the nearby um, um, gym. Okay, I have, to, I have a couple questions here. Okay, let's do some follow-ups, man. Okay, so uh, does calf sleep in the same bed with you? No, she has to sleep in her pen. Oh. Kappa is my oldest of sisters. She has a clone face. She's she's um, what my mom likes to call God's little mistake. She's got a she, did you? She's allergic to herself. <laughs> she's got a real bad case of, of the, um, what do you call it? Um, skin flakes. Her, it's more of a hide, really, and it's quite coarse. Do you know that it takes two weeks just to brush her head to tail? <coughs> to tail? Yeah. <clears throat> she has a vestigial tail. So we think maybe it's one of those twins that she consumed in the womb. So with all a of the... twin apparition. So with all of the siblings, and obviously the care that has to go into calf... Um, uh -huh. do you, the feeding do you, and the watering yeah. do you, and the constant walks because she will make a real mess inside of the house <laughs> do you uh, do you guys ever have, have to be um, like your parents go out, do they ever hire a babysitter? Um, yeah, we've had one babysitter one time, but yeah. um, we you, lost some people you lost some people? Yeah. do you remember who this babysitter was? it was Agnes, the babysitter and, and um, uh oh, this is a good German lady you're saying she, um, I don't know if she was German or just evil. Mm. It's such a fine line some of the time. Especially yeah. when they have that, that pinchy accent. Pinchy? Yeah, pinchy. Can you explain that a little bit? Yeah. Can you do the accent? It's pretty good. I just like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. You, have you ever met her? Because she is a t she's night terrors and I, I have met her. She offered me candy. Was it your birthday? Yep. I'm sorry, happy birthday. I got you a present. Um, here, it's a shiv. It's freshly used. Freshly used. Uh, is it made out of soap or a toothbrush? How, what would you make the shiv out of? Um, this was made out of... Uh, um, this was made out of um, one of my teeth that fell out. It's it, a big tooth. Oh, we'll never know what the shiv oh, was made no. out of. Just we'll so only know part of it. We have to end now. Yeah, um, we're going to end now. Unfortunately, you saw me accomplish just nothing in this game. <laughs> this was, it is slowing down. I thought it would speed up. I have, how many episodes? Four episodes, and I'm still midway through chapter eight. It's, it's Philippe and Agnes. They just, they slow things down. Yeah, but you know what? They speed up my heart. Yeah, me, me too. Yeah. All right. I'll miss them forever. So, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Josh Dean, Lords of, Lord of Adventure. That's been Wes. Hi. That's Todd, who fills the bowl with the nightmares. Um, Evie GB, thank you for coming. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Paul 2D2D2. Thanks for all the new follows. And not like till Brooklyn. Uh, oh, that's good. And thank you for the follows, everybody. I hope to see you next week. Um, at uh, That'll be a Wednesday, just like this we, one was. Are we back next week? Are we back next week? 7 p.m.? I think so. Sounds good. Yeah, 7 p.m. here. Watch me flail about both in character of the video game and in real life. Um, thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, I'm Josh Dean, at Joshingtron is my Twitter thing. If you want to follow, I don't know how that works, guys. I don't even know why you'd follow it. You don't get 
surprises. So um, I will see you in the future. Thanks, Wes. Thanks, Todd. Thanks to you. Go to heck, the other one. I wish that you'd burn um, uh, next week. Justin Lord of Adventure.